Well, the sun is shining, the skies are blue. Welcome to our two-day charity scramble event here at Bally Sally Road in Northern Ireland. Well hello everyone and uh, thanks once more for tuning in to my YouTube channel. Now today we've made the journey across the Irish Sea to Bally Sally Road in Bangor in Northern Ireland for a two day charity scramble event held at the superb Cecil Pearson's Hillside Racetrack. Now this event in 2018 raised over £29,000 for our local Cancer Focus Northern Ireland charity and uh, in 2019 the organisers are hoping to surpass even that figure by raising uh, much more well needed cash. Now although the forecast at the moment is uh, blue skies and uh, sunshine the forecast for tonight, that's Friday, is uh, not good for later on and uh, for Saturday afternoon the forecast is for more scattered showers. But nevertheless we will take whatever the weather can throw at us and uh, as long as we raise much needed cash for this very worthwhile charity. So that's enough uh, drivel from me, let's get uh, down to the paddock and have a look at some of those Irish machines that are soon to take part in this 2019 Bally Sally Road Charity Scramble. Now the first pair of machines we're going to take a look at today are these lovely husk varners uh, belonging to uh, Adrian Lappin. Now we have a 250 uh, Husky here and a 430. Now that number 68 machine, now that will be ridden at this event by uh, Tommy Merton. And uh, Tommy is uh, very quick on this uh, 430 Husqvarna. Now of course this pair of huskies are only a couple of the many machines that uh, Adrian has in his collection. Uh, he also has a very nice little TM125 and a very nice uh, CCM which we will uh, take a look at uh, later in this video. But just remember that uh, every bike that you see in this uh, paddock video can be seen uh, racing on the track on the follow-up videos uh, from this event uh, coming to my YouTube channel very soon. So there you have a very nice pair of Husk Varners, uh, the property of Adrian Lappin. And uh, don't forget, look out for Tommy Merton on that number 68 machine coming soon to my YouTube channel. Okay, next up we have uh, a lovely pair of machines from... Uh, bike builder uh, Alan Arnott. Now Alan of course is well respected in these classic bike building circles and uh, he is renowned for uh, building these uh, fantastic looking old classic British machines. Now, Alan travels the country with uh, his race bikes and uh, even ventures into Europe uh, quite often, racing 
uh, these uh, lovely uh, classic machines. Now, of course, Alan has a vast experience in building these old types of uh, classic racing machines and his uh, engineering expertise is unsurpassed when it comes to knowing the ins and outs of the intricate workings of these old uh, British uh, BSA machines. Now Alan's next machine here is a lovely uh, ESO Jawa. Uh, this is a bike that uh, Alan built uh, a few years ago and uh, this machine was uh, featured uh, not so long ago in the classic dirt bike magazine. Now I'm not going to go into the intimate details of the engineering that went into this uh, big Jawa motor that Alan put together but it suffice to say that uh, Alan has sprinkled his mechanical ingenuity all over this uh, lovely looking machine. Now of course Alan brought two machines with him to this uh, charity uh, scramble event and uh, speaking to him prior to the event Alan was uh, undecided as to which bike to actually uh, use in the race event so uh, I think what Alan was going to do is try both bikes in the practice session and then uh, see which particular machine suited the track best. So that's uh, Alan Arnott's lovely uh, ESO uh, Jawa. Now, as you can see, Alan was camped up for the weekend at this uh, charity scramble event, but uh, he told me he was heading to another race event the week after, so uh, this is probably another reason why Alan brought two bikes. So they are two very nice looking machines, that's Alan Arnott's ESO Jawa and his lovely BSA. Okay next up it's the turn of Wesley Sloan's uh, very nice looking uh, 490 YZ Yamaha. Very quick and very popular bikes uh, now on the uh, classic racetracks uh, around the UK and over here in Ireland. Although this particular machine of uh, Wesley's has the uh, linkage monoshock suspension and apparently these bikes are eligible to race in the twin shock class over here in Ireland. Although uh, the rules governing uh, these monoshock linkage machines in Scotland are uh, very different and uh, this uh, type of machine unfortunately would not be able to race at uh, Scottish classic events. Although the other popular uh, transition to make these YZ Yamahas eligible for twin shock racing is to convert the suspension to a twin shock configuration. Now I know personally uh, at least uh, two people in Scotland who have uh, already done this twin shock conversion on the swing arm to these uh, more modern YZ Yamahas to make them uh, twin shock racing eligible. Okay so that's Wesley Sloan's lovely YZ 490. Okay, this looks like uh, Eddie Steenson's uh, 1980 250 Michael. Now, of course, the 1980 Michaels were not the greatest uh, Michael machine, although everyone knows that Michael did get the geometry right of their uh, superb frame in 1981, where they went on to uh, 
conquer the world with the mighty Mega 2. Now next up we have Wesley Stockdale's very nice uh, CR480 Honda. Uh, looks like uh, Wesley's been out with the metal polish during the night and uh, buffed up that uh, Honda primary uh, casing. I can almost see myself in that lovely mirror finish. Now of course Wesley will be racing this bike in the Grade B twin shot class. We have uh, four twin shot classes for you at this uh, charity weekend scramble. So uh, Wesley will be listed in the twin shot Grade B. Seems a shame to get that swinging arm all dirty really. Now of course you don't need me to tell you how quick these uh, 480 Hondas are. Uh, these are very popular with uh, twin shock riders. Uh, very quick bikes and uh, capable of keeping up with uh, almost anything on the racetrack. And just remember, of course, uh, Wesley's bike is just another one of the machines that you can see strutting their stuff on the, the racetrack in the forthcoming racing videos from this uh, two-day charity event here at Craig Adlet in Bally Sally Road in Bangor. And so that's a very brief look at Wesley Stockdale's uh, CR 480 Twin Shock Honda. Okay, next up we have uh, Ryan Thompson's uh, very nice YZ uh, 490 Yamaha. As I mentioned earlier, these bikes very popular uh, over here in Ireland uh, in the uh, Twin Shock racing class. Due to, uh, due to their uh, eligibility. Now, uh, Ryan, of course, will be racing this bike in the Twin Shock Grade B class. So, uh, a very popular class, uh, the Grade B, for many of these Twin Shock riders. Now, this looks like a very nice and original looking machine, this uh, one of uh, Ryan's here, with these twin leading front uh, brake shoes. Now, uh, not sure as to what particular year this bike will be, but I'll have a guess and say it's a 1987, but uh, I stand, of course, to be corrected. So if you have a YZ linkage uh, monoshock Yamaha in your uh, shed, then get it over to Ireland and uh, without doubt you will be able to uh, race this machine in the very popular two windshot class. Okay, next up on our paddock walkabout is this uh, very nice uh, CCM. And this is yet, of course, another bike from the uh, Adrian Lappin uh, classic motorcycle stable. Now, you may remember that I filmed this bike in uh, 2018 at this event when the gear shifter was on the left hand side, which was uh, the opposite side from uh, an original uh, CCM. Well, uh, since then, it seems that uh, Adrian has had the uh, second thoughts and he's now uh, put the gear shifter back to its uh, original position. Now of course you don't need me to tell you how quick these uh, old uh, 580cc uh, Allen Clues machines are. These are very quick machines on the racetrack and uh, if you get the right rider on top of one of these uh, four-stroke monsters then uh, these are very competitive bikes. Now 
Now, as I mentioned earlier, the, this is just yet another one of the many bikes that uh, Adrian has in his uh, superb uh, motorcycle collection. Adrian, of course, has uh, a lot to do with the organisation of this uh, Bally Salah Road uh, charity scramble event, so uh, he was very busy on the day and uh, gave me a nice opportunity to walk round his uh, lovely racing machines. So there you have it, that's uh, Adrian Lappin's very nice uh, CCM. Okay, next up we go to the Maku stable. Now this is Josh Maku's very nice looking uh, Greaves Griffin. Now uh, Josh and uh, Father uh, Craig love to race these old uh, classic British Greaves machines. This of course is Josh's uh, Griffin, looks like a 250. It's still good to see these old uh, Greaves uh, still racing on the racetrack. There's not many get used on the classic and uh, vintage racetracks around the UK and uh, over here in Ireland. Now this is uh, Craig McCoo's uh, what looks like a 380 Griffin. Now of course these Griffins were the bikes that replaced the earlier uh, Greaves Challenger models the, with the leading link uh, front suspension. Now of course these uh, British built Greaves machines were decent enough uh, bikes to uh, race back in the 1960s and early 70s but uh, as I mentioned earlier you don't see many uh, riders who want to take the time to maintain or race these uh, old class classic uh, British Greaves machines and it's thanks to Josh and his uh, father Craig that they keep these old uh, Greaves uh, on the track where they belong. Now, of course, both these British classics will be raced by uh, Josh and his father in the Twin Shock uh, Grade D class at this uh, charity event. So look out for them uh, in future videos uh, here on my YouTube channel. So there you have it. That's the Greaves Challenger and Greaves Griffin of uh, Josh and Craig McCoo. Now this beautiful looking BSA is uh, another one of the fantastic machines uh, built by Alan Arnott. Now uh, of course we saw a couple of Alan's uh, own machines uh, earlier on in this video clip and this bike was built for uh, Andrew Breeden. Now this of course is just another example of the workmanship that uh, Alan can produce when building these uh, fantastic looking uh, British machines. Now Andrew will be racing this uh, beautiful little bike in the uh, Twin Shock Grade uh, B class and uh, it just seems a shame to get it dirty really but uh, an absolutely uh, stunning looking uh, little bike and uh, I'm sure Andrew is very proud to own uh, such a machine of this high quality. Now we won't be covering this bike in uh, very much detail in this particular video but look out for a very comprehensive uh, look at this machine in a future video 
which will be coming soon uh, to my YouTube channel. Now, of course, when Alan uh, builds and puts together these beautiful machines, there is uh, absolutely no expense spared when it comes to using the very best of tools and uh, components to put these uh, beautiful machines together. The spike looking absolutely stunning sitting on top of Cecil Pearson's lovely hillside racetrack here at Craig Antlet in Bangor. Now next up this uh, what I think is uh, Philip McKee's uh, lovely uh, Triumph uh, Wasp. Now uh, I had a very brief uh, word with uh, Philip regarding this bike and I'm sure if my mind serves me correctly he told me that this was a 350cc uh, Triumph uh, twin motor. Now of course normally I would associate these uh, Wasp uh, classic machines with uh, sidecar racing as I know these bikes were very popular in the 60s and 70s uh, on sidecars. Now unfortunately I don't have a lot of information regarding this uh, very nice little bike other than uh, what uh, I have just described but uh, nevertheless it looks like a very rare and a very nice little old uh, British classic. Now once again of course uh, Philip will be racing this uh, machine in the grade C class of the Twin Shocks at this uh, Bally Sally Road charity scramble. Okay next up it's the turn of uh, Tony McKee's little uh, Honda CR125 uh, Elsinore. These uh, little uh, two-stroke machines are absolute uh, screamers around the track and uh, if you're standing close enough to these things when they go by at uh, full song, uh, it's certainly going to give your eardrums a pounding. Very nice and uh, looks uh, almost original, this little CR125 Honda. You don't see many of these little screamers on the classic and uh, twin shock racetracks uh, around the country and uh, I would say that these bikes are very much in a minority but uh, nevertheless these are very quick and uh, very light and uh, nimble little machines if you get the right racetrack uh, to make them uh, strut their stuff. So that's a very brief look at a quite rare little machine. That's Tony McKee's lovely little CR125 Honda. Okay, next up it's uh, a couple of uh, CZ machines from uh, local hero uh, Trevor Calderwood. Trevor, of course, uh, local to this area of uh, Bangor and uh, Newton Ards and uh, is a well-known legend in the classic motocross uh, world over here in Ireland. Now this is just one of uh, Trevor's Harry Clem uh, vintage CZ machines. Now Trevor of course a uh, two-time winner of the Don Matthews CZ World Championships which are held uh, annually in uh, California in the United States in uh, April. Trevor of course uh, had some great success over there in the last uh, two years. But of course this is just uh, a couple of the CZ 
racing machines that Trevor has in his uh, large collection of uh, classic motorcycles. All the best uh, tricked up pieces of uh, CZ equipment uh, fitted to uh, Trevor's bike as you can see here with these very fancy uh, piggyback uh, rear shocks. Now Trevor of course at this uh, event will be riding in the twin shock grade A class and uh, look out for Trevor on his uh, twin shock Monda which of course is a uh, micro frame with a Honda 480 or 500 two stroke motor. So that's a couple of very nice looking CZ machines uh, from the Trevor Calderwood uh, CZ collection. Now also spotted on my paddock walkabout were this uh, lovely pair of uh, KX250 uh, Kawasaki machines. Now these bikes are also uh, very rare machines and, uh, and these are bikes that uh, you virtually never ever see racing on uh, classic and vintage tracks around the globe. Uh, very rare machines but uh, as far as I'm aware they were very quick these KX250 bikes uh, in their day. But it just goes to show that you can never find one KX250 and then all of a sudden two come along at the same time. Okay, next up it's uh, Andrew Kinnaird's uh, very nice uh, old vintage Michael. Now as to what uh, particular year this bike is, I'm unsure, but it looks like uh, an old 1974 or possibly 75 bike, but uh, as usual I uh, await to be corrected from my very knowledgeable YouTubers. Now Andrew of course will be uh, racing uh, this particular bike in the twin shock grade D class and as I mentioned earlier we will have four classes of twin shock bikes at this 2D event here at Barry Sully Road. So that's Andrew Kinnaird, Kinnaird's lovely little Michael. So next up it's the turn of uh, James Thompson's uh, collection of machines. Now uh, look out for James in action because he will be riding at least six different machines in six different classes at this 2D event and uh, this lovely KX uh, 250 is just one of the bikes that uh, James will be riding over the course of the two days. Now this other machine, this uh, lovely uh, 360 CZ, uh, James will also be riding. But also look out for James uh, riding an old uh, Boltaco, a 1980s YZ uh, 490 Yamaha and of course uh, James will be in action riding one of uh, Cecil Pearson's lovely uh, old 1930s Jap machines. But basically James will be riding everything that uh, moves at this event over the course of the two days.
Okay, we couldn't finish this uh, Craig Antlett uh, two-day scramble charity event without taking a look at Cecil Pearson's immaculate and very rare collection of uh, John Alfred Presswitch's lovely 1930s Jap scramblers. Now, don't be fooled for a minute by the look of these old-fashioned machines. These bikes are more than capable of holding their own and in some cases are far superior to some of the modern uh, racing machines that you're going to see at this uh, two-day event here at Bali Sally Road. Now most of these bikes of course are uh, Rickman frames with uh, 1930s John Alfred Presswitch uh, motors in, in their chassis, 600 cc, although that number 11 bike that you see in the middle of the picture is a brand new addition to the Cecil uh, Pearson fleet and we will be doing a separate uh, video on that particular bike here on my YouTube channel in the future. Now of course these uh, vintage monsters uh, don't run on regular gas, uh, these things are uh, run on methanol. Now of course these engines were uh, never designed originally to run on uh, petrol, these engines were originally designed as speedway racing uh, machines and uh, these bikes were always designed to be run on uh, methanol fuel which of course uh, makes the engine and the cylinder run much cooler. So look out for this fantastic collection of these 1930s Jap scramblers in action on the racetrack in future videos here on my YouTube channel. So that concludes our uh, paddock walkabout uh, this uh, two-day event here at Craig Antlet in uh, Bangor in Northern Ireland. So just stay tuned to my YouTube channel for all the racing action from this two-day event. This video was brought to you in association with Wealth Sport, the world's number one supplier for all your off-road and leisure sportswear. Just visit their online website for more details.